everyone. Today I am going to demonstrate uh, DDT framework on test automation using Rational Functional Tester 8.5 tool and the scripting language used in this is uh, Java and hope you will like it. Let's quickly have a look at this uh, automation framework architecture and this block diagram uh, shows the, the details of uh, this framework and you, you can see all the gray ones they are implemented in current framework and all the yellow ones they are not implemented in the current framework and as you can see at the top uh, the input data files uh, which are uh, like configuration file and driver file and test plan file which are read by the driver script and uh, subsequently by config script and uh, then this driver script invokes the uh, main function of the controller script and then controller script talks to the uh, application lib and generic library as lib and then it performs the certain operation as desired by the test plan and then it generates the output log and uh, I would also like to talk about the uh, these three blocks which are not implemented uh, these are uh, application specific initialization script is uh, basically if any application requires any initialization then uh, you need to uh, create this script and uh, verification is also application specific uh, when like your application requires uh, exhaustive uh, verification of the application for the critical applications uh, of very sensitive or medical application in those cases I think this could be useful but these are configurable and you can, uh, if you require you can use it and if you don't require you don't need to use it let's quickly start the demo and uh, then we can So this is the, the rational functional tool which is very similar to e you can see the e uh, Eclipse if you are familiar with Eclipse I think you will find it uh, very easy to use and these are my libraries you can see uh, all these libraries are here uh, this is driver script which is, the, which is the first script to start so I'll start the execution here I have used in this case uh, uh, the default application which was uh, built in with uh, uh, rational functional tester this is basically for the placing the order uh, for the uh, CD and name of the application is classic CD so I created two test cases one uh, for the pal past test case and another for the fail so basically the test cases are same and uh, only the data I have changed uh, for the failed one I have put a wrong string as a fail so this is the first test case which is with the uh, correct verification and now it will place the order you can see the message your order has been received and your order number is something and I have done a verification for this message now the script is uh, going to click OK button this video is about 3 minutes uh, of the total length for both the test cases and also you can see uh, this is small uh, window here which, which tells the which next step is going to be executed so you can see that first test case was completed and then application was closed and again reopened so thi this uh, test case uh, will be failed
it is basically filling up four five fields uh, like card number, expiry date, name, street, and city zip, and phone number. Now it will place the order and then it will verify this message. What I did uh, before your I have uh, prefixed with fail a string so that uh, it will when it will verify this message it will not match the string and it will be displayed as fail test case. Now you can see on the playback window uh, it is going to click and then close this classic CD application. So now this demo is completed. You can see this uh, the this is the default uh, log generated by the tool itself, but this doesn't give meaningful information. So I always prefer my own logs. Uh, go to my project and uh, have a look at the log let's see which is the latest one this is a 847 so this should be the latest one let's open it and this logging is very similar yes if you remember uh, if you have seen my previous uh, automation uh, demos on test complete and selenium so very similar uh, logging i have created for this also so application name is classic cd and you can say one test case pass one test case failed and one test point has uh, failed and total duration is 3 minutes 9 seconds this is the total result uh, detailed one uh, if you open it you will see here so, so you can see uh, the time stamps and test case one is started and then first one passed second test case failed you can say see the mismatch I have put this uh, false string here so that it should fail. And then have a look at the fail uh, result. In this, I have created n one new thing. Um, I have created a link for the screenshot also. Uh, this link. So this is the second test case failed one. You can see the test case name. And now, if you want to see the screenshot for this, you can have a look at Th this. Is this was the screenshot? Okay. Sorry. come back to this uh, overall statics is same as previous one so let's close this result log and a screenshot folder is here in the same screenshot was opened from the failed uh, result directory and now let's come back to the input files uh, I'd like to show you the test test plan so see there are two test cases which I have executed test case number one and two and these are the fields we have passed y you must have seen the name different names were there and this time I I, I tried to show the data also so you can see the far test case one uh, data row was one uh, test case two data row was two and this is my order uh, seat for the data you can see the two different data were sent for this uh, test cases and uh, you can have many seats uh, as per the requirement of your application uh, let's come back to the uh, slide and I wanted to ask one question uh, uh, 
as you must have seen the fail result for creating this you see this hyperlink and uh, let me make it bigger okay uh, question is uh, how, how to create this uh, uh, link here hyperlink by using the Java code so maybe at your home you can try this have a look at this uh, so the same link should be created and if you have any further queries or questions you can always write an email to me at my email address This is the library where I have all the generic libraries here. This and this is the constant file. So, I if you have seen my previous demos on this uh, for the t test complete and uh, Selenium, so it looks very similar to that. But the yeah, the tool is here, rational functional tester. Okay, thank you.